A medical definition of obesity states that obesity is an abnormal buildup of body fat, usually 20% or more over an individual's ideal body weight. 20 to 40% over ideal weight is considered mildly obese, 40 to 100% over ideal weight is considered moderately obese, and 100% over ideal weight is considered severely or morbidly obese. Obesity can be measured by an individual's body mass index, or BMI for short. A BMI is a person's weight in kilograms divided by their height in meters squared. This equation gives a number usually between about 18.5 and 35. If an individual has a BMI higher than 30, then they fall into the category of being obese. But of course there are some exceptions to BMIs as the system does not differentiate between body fat and muscle mass. Obesity is commonly linked with poor diet and lack of exercise. The 2012 and 2013 New Zealand Health Survey found that almost 1 in 3 adults aged 15 years and over were obese. A further 1 in 3 were overweight. 1 in 9 children aged 2 to 14 years were obese. A further 1 in 4 children were overweight. That means over 1 million New Zealanders are obese. That's enough to fill Eden Park 20 times over. New Zealand has the third highest obesity rate in the world. Obesity can cause increased chance of depression and bullying in children. Children who are overweight and obese now suffer from adults conditions such as type 2 diabetes, liver disease, joint pain, high blood pressure, high cholesterol and sleep apnea. In total, obesity related health issues will likely cost at least $8 million over the next 10 years. This means higher amounts of taxpayer dollars going towards healthcare. We're living in a world where children may not live as long as their parents. As a society, there are things we could do to help prevent obesity. We need to continue to educate youth about the issue of obesity and how to avoid it. But we also need to educate parents so they can make good choices on what to feed their families and can encourage their children to have an active lifestyle. However, for many families in New Zealand, they don't get a choice in the sorts of food they can buy. Research has shown that poverty has some strong links to the obesity rate in New Zealand. A quarter of New Zealand children are living in poverty, which for many of these children means being fed cheap, takeaways, sugary and processed foods, and little to no fruit and vegetables. Many people say that in order to break the cycle of obesity, we need to tackle poverty. Some also believe that if the government puts tax on sugary, fatty foods, then the people will stop buying it and healthy food like fruit and vegetables could be subsidised. This sort of tax is also known as fat tax, and it's designed to influence people's choices when buying food. Others say we should stop advertising junk food on children's TV and in magazines. Experts recommend 30 minutes of exercise a day for adults or 60 minutes for children 12 or under. Not only is exercise good for our body, but it's also good for our mental health. A healthy diet is just as important as regular exercise. A healthy diet is a balance between all the major food groups. As the food pyramid shows, on a daily basis you should eat about 5 servings of carbohydrates like cereals, rice, bread and pasta, 2 servings of vegetables and fruit each, 2-3 to three servings of meat and dairy products, and a small amount of fats, oil, salt and sugar. Drinking water is also important as it helps keep your body hydrated and can make you feel fuller so you eat less. There are many debates on how obesity rates can be reduced, but one thing's for certain, obesity is an issue in our country and worldwide. Don't be another statistic. Look after your body and stay healthy for life.